Welcome to what we watch after dark. My name is Nathan. And today we are going to be going over the movie Fright Night, a 1985 film that was directed by and written, written and directed by Tom Holland. It stars Chris uh, Sandro, William Ragside, and Amanda Barros. Now, we know Amanda from Married with Children. She played Darcy. So that's kind of cool. Now, it had a budget of $9 million. It grossed in U.S. and Canada $24 million. Opening weekend, $6 million. And gross worldwide, $25 million. So, it got its money back. Well, anyway, I guess I can go ahead and show you the trailer. So let's go ahead and roll the trailer. What would you do if you accidentally discovered the house next door was occupied by something not human? <coughs> something horrifying. Something unspeakably evil. No one believes you. Mom, I didn't have a nightmare. Not your mom. They did kill a girl over there. Not your girlfriend. Charlie, is this some sort of a trick to get me back? Not even the police. Look, I know it's crazy. I know that, but look, Lieutenant! It knows that you know. You'll do anything to protect yourself. But it will do anything to protect its secret. If you love being scared, this could be the night of your life. Welcome back! <laughs> this horror comedy really kind of... I don't know, it's cool, man. I liked it. I liked it enough to give it a 7.5 and suggest people to watch it if they like funny horror. Uh, some of the interesting facts about this is when Chris Sheridan's was researching his part, he 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 got into you know the vampire lore and stuff like that, but also came across some interesting facts about bats, and he felt that his bat was a little fruity. <laughs> anyway. So that that's why you see him eating fruit throughout the movie. Inspiration behind Fright Night was uh Tom Holland's desire to blend Dracula with the boy who cried the boy who cried wolf. It the thing is on that it had some humor it, it, strong relationships it had all that but i and i get it after you know kind of what what i read and what i was you know what i'm reading here it's i just never felt like the boy cried wolf he 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 saw what he saw and you know did what he was supposed to anyway moving on there is a reference to the children of the night which, of course, is a bunch of wolves howling. That reference, of course, comes from Dracula, which we went over 
you know, maybe six months ago. You can look it up. I have my whole library just open to everything. Anyway, I think uh, it was a pretty good nod to Dracula. And there's some other things that were very, oh, Dracula and Renfield kind of shit. Fright Night was the most financially successful horror film in 1985 summer season and the second highest grossing horror film in 1985, trailing only by Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, Freddy's Revenge. The success proves that the blend of horror and humor and heartfelt storytelling could capture audiences. Basically, the, the nightclub was set up in, a, in an old hardware store that they had renovated, and the Columbia Studios uh, used it in another movie for uh, Body Double in 1984. So two for the price of one, basically. I thought of this movie as fun. It follows most the Bela Lugosi vampire. You know, I mean, it. it's a retelling, in my opinion, of Dracula. But it is definitely different with nobody believing the kid that Dracula moved in next door. 7.5, uh, actors did a great job. The makeup artists, they did a great job. The uh, bat thing that was in one scene had actually been made for something else. Oh, it was made for Ghostbusters but the producers of the Ghostbusters PG movie was like, well, it's a little scary, you know. And, but they, you know, they looked at it again during this movie and said, hey, kind of looks like a bat. So they put that in there. So that's kind of interesting, too. I like it. It's a great movie to watch with friends, be able to laugh. Get that two beers that, that won't kill you. Anywho, that's all I got for you guys today. I want to say I love each and every one of you, and I hope you pass it on. And I hope they pass it on as you have. And man, we got to stop the wars.